celebrate Creative Source reaching 100,000 subscribers, I've reached out to some of my favorite partners so that we can say thank you to you for all of your amazing support. For seven days in a row, I'll be launching giveaways for a total of 24 prizes worth over $6,000 so that you can get the chance to have your hands on some great studio gear and software. Each video also has a bonus secret code inside for you to get extra entries, so make sure you watch the whole thing. Today's prize comes from Solemony. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Solemony are the makers of one of the most renowned pieces of software in our industry, Melodyne, and I've been very happy during my journey to 100,000 subscribers to try it out and tell you folks about it. And it really is one of the most innovative pieces of software that I've used. Now it's best known for something called pitch correction. That's not to be confused with auto-tune. Auto-tune, as its name suggests, automatically tunes or pitch corrects everything that it hears. That can end up in results which sound a little sort of robotic and maybe not very human. I find with Melodyne, because it's a much more tailored, hands-on approach, you really do get a much more natural result. But it's capable of so much more than just pitch correction. It can also deal with timing, with sibilance, and also chords as well. And I touched upon that during one of the videos I made about Melodyne, where I looked at some of the reasons I think you should get hold of it and use it. So let's take a look at that clip and see how it does handle chords. So if you think Melodyne is only about melody and vocals, then you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the way it handles chords and instruments. So what I have loaded up on the screen here is an electric guitar part, which I recorded last night, and I've applied Melodyne, and you can see right away that it's actually picked out the individual notes in the chords here. And if I play it, you'll be able to see that in context. <laughs> Now, before I go into how I can manipulate that, I want to chat just for a moment about how it detects chords. Now, you can see that it's picked up the key here, the C minor key, when it's analyzed the guitar, but it can also pick out the chords which are being played. And that's more than just a labeling feature. We're going to make use of those chords a little bit later on. But I also want to mention that some DAWs do have chord detection, have chord tracks. And if they meet the right standards, then Melodyne can actually make use of those as well. So when you use this, you may already see some chords appear there. But if you don't have a DAW that does that, then Melodyne can do it for you. So right at the top of the window here, we can see an area where the chords are going to be displayed. There's nothing there at the moment. So I'll right click and I'll click on Analyze Chords. And you can see right away it's picked up some chord names there. Now I've been using this for about the last week or so, and I have to say it does a very, very good job. A lot of the time it just gets the chords correctly, even when they're more complex chords. However, once in a while it does get it a little wrong and I can see here that it's made a mistake instead of that being a G minor which I know it is there because I, I sorry G major because I played the guitar part it's picked it up as an E minor now I can manually change that I can just double click on that and change it to a G now, those of you who know a little bit about music theory know that there's not a big surprise there because G and E minor are very related to each other. And it is helpful that I've corrected that because we're going to make use of these chords a little bit later. Now, before we get into that, let's look and see how, and see how we can manipulate the notes. Now, I was a bit tricky here because when I recorded this guitar part, I actually on purpose uh, made one of the strings on the guitar a little bit flat, a little bit out of tune, just a tiny bit flat. And if you have really good hearing, then you will be able to hear that. Let's give you another chance. You can hear it mostly in those top notes there. Well, we can really easily fix that just by double clicking on that note there. So I'll just double click on it. And you can see it just snaps up a little bit to the center of the note that it's on. Okay. It's a small adjustment, but it can make a difference to it there and there. And now those notes are in tune. In addition to that, we could simply select all of the notes there and double click on them. And you can see there's adjustments made to all of those notes there. So all of the strings of the guitar have been put in tune. Let's have a listen. Now something I'm using Melodyne more and more for is sibilance. Sibilance is that 
and s sound in your voice, and it can be quite annoying when you hear it a lot. Traditionally, we use something called a D. Esser, which focuses on a narrow range of frequencies and applies compression there. Now they can be very useful, but they can also be a little hit and miss. Melodyne takes a completely different approach and it identifies anything in your voice which is non-pitched. That includes sibilance and also things like breaths as well. I really love this approach and I find it more accurate. Let's take a look at a clip from that video again where I talk about and show you how to use the sibilance tools. So this next one for me is a real game changer and I've been like a kid with a new toy as I've been playing around with this since I got Melodyne 5. Now I've been hiding something from you up until now on this interface and I'm going to reveal it. So I'll go up to the options here and I'm going to click on show sibilance and you can see here that the display has changed a little bit. Some of the areas of these so-called blobs in Melodyne have changed with those lines being drawn into them. Those are the sibilance so it sounds like the and the ps and the ch sounds of our voice. But also in this context, we're also talking about the breath and you can see a breath just there. It identifies those for us and it starts to treat them a little bit different. And the reason for that is because as humans, we can pitch the note, the sound of the voice, which is making the note, but we can't actually pitch the sibilance. We can't actually change the pitch of that ourselves when we sing. However, previously in this kind of software, when we've been altering the pitch or, or tidying up the pitch of some singing, we've also been changing the pitch of those sibilants, and that's probably added to it sounding a little bit unnatural. So what happens now is, if we were to take a note like this, and I was just to tidy it up like that, it's moved that note to the correct position, but it hasn't changed the pitch of the sibilants, although that did change visually, that's just a visual thing, it's treated it differently. Even if we drag it up, even if we drag it up to a completely different note, although it has moved up there with it, it hasn't actually changed the pitch of it, so that it's still at the same pitch. So all of these things add to making sure that it keeps natural. Now what's really cool about this as well is we can actually change the volume of that individually. Ping, light bulb moment. You know, all of us who have used DSs in the past are now thinking, ah, this could be really, really handy. So we can actually look at that sibilance there, and I'll bring up this tool here, which is the sibilance balance tool. Now look what happens now when I drag up and down. Yes. You can see that the note here has got much quieter, but the sibilants sound the same. Yes. I can do it the other way. It restores the note to the original value, and I'll bring that S down. Let's bring it all the way down to the bottom. Now it's going to sound really silly. Have a listen. Only at the day. <laughs> I just like doing that for fun. But anyway, I wouldn't do that under normal yes. circumstances. So let's bring it up to a normal value. Only so you could grab all of the notes in the in this particular passage and then you could um, adjust all of the sibilants all together, quite potentially replacing using a de-esser. I think it's probably going to be more efficient because we're not um, working with particular ranges of frequencies and then reducing them like we do with a de-esser, but it's identify those parts of the vocal which don't contain a note and it's enabling us to adjust them individually. Now using Melodyne 5 for its core purpose, which is pitch correction, is actually incredibly easy. And I did make a video about that. If you want to get a kickstart and really get going with it, follow the link in the description down below for my video about how to use Melodyne 5. Now Melodyne comes in a few different versions to suit different budgets, but their very best version, their flagship version, is Melodyne 5 Studio. And it's that that I have for you as a prize in this giveaway. Yes, the lucky winner will win a full license for Melodyne 5 Studio, valued at around about 699 US dollars. Let's call it 700, shall we? Now in a moment, I'm gonna tell you how you enter this competition. But first of all, let's talk about some of the things you don't have to do to win this prize. So some of the things you don't have to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to this channel, like this video, or leave a comment down below. Now, if you do think you'd find this channel useful in the future, then go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. And if you do think this video is great, hit the like button to show some appreciation. And if you want to leave a comment about what you think about Melodyne and how you think you may be using it in the future, I'd love to hear from you. But you don't have to do any of those things to enter this giveaway. So what do you have to do?
So to enter this giveaway, you simply need to visit homestudiogiveaway.com slash Solemony. Or to make it easier, just follow the link in the description down below. There you'll find all of the different ways that you can enter. And you can enter in multiple ways and have multiple entries to increase your chances. I look forward to seeing you there. A big thanks to Solemony for providing the prize for this giveaway and a huge thank you to all of those people who have helped to get me to 100,000 subscribers. I will see you in the next giveaway video.